Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do, I wanted to do a makeup tutorial because I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a hot minute and you guys do request them. Anyway, so I thought I would do this video a little bit differently and I have my iPad here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be following a makeup tutorial of someone else's. So the one I decided to do, I did have two options. I was going to do the Vogue Kim Kardashian one um, because because of my new background, that one fitted really, really well. So if you want that one, then give this video a thumbs up right now. But for today, I'm going to do this one, which is the Chantal Jeffries and Alicia Violet doing Alicia Violet, Alicia Violet, Alicia Violet. Oh, I don't know. Um, so it's basically it's actually on Chantal's channel, which I don't actually follow her. I don't know much about her, but she's so pretty. Obviously, you know who she is, but you know what I mean. Um, she's super pretty, but she did this video called Alyssa, yes, Alyssa, Alyssa Violet tries my makeup routine. So it's basically both of them. I haven't watched the video yet, by the way. I've kind of skimmed through it just to check that it is a makeup show, like I thought, um, but I haven't watched it. Um, all I've done is I've looked in her description bar and she's listed the products she's used. I'm going to put it maybe here for some of the duration of the video so you can see what I'm copying. On my iPad, so you can see it's the video there, and I'm just going to turn up the volume a little bit. I've pulled, I actually had most of the products, but not every single product, but I had a good amount, so I'm hoping she's just going to do some different styles, like some different styles and techniques to what I would normally do. That's the purpose of the video. Okay, my every, oh, okay, it's every day. That's cool. What's up, guys? It's me, Chantal, back at it again. So, we're Are you using this? Glam Glow. This is the Glow Starter. It's illuminating moisturizer and use glow. It's like a moisturizer that gives you like a illuminating finish. Okay, pause. Okay, I pulled out Glam Glow moisturizer, but it's not that one. This is the Glam Glow Water Burst Hydrating Glow Moisturizer. I don't know how similar it's going to be because it sounds like their one has a colour and as you can see I've never actually used this one but it's a good opportunity to use a new product so let's try it. I've seen quite a few people use this though, it's meant to be good. And I also have also already moisturised my face but hey ho, let's just go for it. Oh it's blue, okay. So it's blue, like this. So I might use something else that's a bit more similar to what she's using if I see when she puts it on. Because she says it's like a, a nude colour, an illuminating glow. This is definitely not that. It's probably going to give me a bit of a glow, but it's definitely not got a colour to it. Is this all you use? Can we talk about that? Like okay, I think it's a really small amount. I've put on way more than that. Oh, this is nice. Gives you a nice, glowy undertone. The way that it reflects the light. All right, next, I put on this so that my lips can get really moisturized. I already put my makeup. I already put it on. Wow, they're reflecting so fast. Okay, lip balm. I'm going to put that on. You already did it. So the next step is, this is the NARS of the Okay, wait. I'm going to go get something that's a little bit more coloured to go on my base. I'm thinking of Chantal with Flawless Filter. So I'm just going to grab that and be right back. And um, this is the shade number five. And I'm just going to use that. Pretty much all over my face. And I'm not going to use my hands to blend that in. Um, I'm going to use, this is the Zoeva 104 Buffer Brush. So just buff that into my face. I feel like, because this is not like foundation at all, it's just like an illuminating primer that kind of does exactly what she said hers was doing. So I'm hoping this will give the same effect. My face is going to be so freaking glow. Look at it, it's like a fucking beacon. I do love this stuff though. Okay, lip balm. I used the Bioderma one. So let's just put some of that on. I do agree, it's really good to put lip balm on when you're starting your makeup. So by the time you get to your lips, like, you can have nice moisturized lips. Okay. So, you put that on here. Yeah. So, the next step is this is the NARS Illuminator Hot Sand, the color. It's like when sand's hot. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> hot enough, it turns it's like hot. when sand's hot. Okay, more glow. So, I just take the same amount and rub it in. <laughs> okay, so quite a small amount. Do your fingers like this. <laughs> that? Wait, those are my eyebrows. Oh, not my whole forehead. I rub it in. The more you rub it, like the shinier it gets. So. Okay, I think we've got we've really enough shine on our face right now. Really, your makeup routine? Yes. Wow. I'm gonna so. take the NARS Radiant Cream. It. Yeah. <laughs> the NARS Radiant Cream. Okay. We are glowing. That stuff's really nice, though. Again, this is a new. I've had this, but I haven't really used it. I think I tried it once, but I didn't put it under my makeup. I put it over my makeup. So we are glowing. We are like 
really glowing and my hands are looking glowing too. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe that on my trousers. Okay, I also have the NARS Radiant Cream and Concealer in Ginger. I feel like Ginger's probably gonna be a bit too dark for me right now, but I'll try. So under eyes and blemishes. I'm literally copying you exactly. So am I, babe. So am I. Okay. And all my blemishes. You're like, yeah, just put on your blemishes. I cover my whole face with it. I feel you. I think that's what I'm going to be doing. Because I have got one here. 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 Do you know, I never used to get spots on my forehead. For some reason, all of a sudden, I'm getting spots on my forehead. I really use mine's, mine's tan, but the thing is, I like it dry. So, I like it wet. So I have a dry. What? She uses her beauty blend to dry. Okay, I already dampened mine. Some of them is it dry. I have tried it dry before and I really don't like it. It's really like hard. So I get wet. <laughs> okay. Alright, so next step. Okay, so she is not using foundation. I did wonder why there wasn't foundation. I just got it on my hair. Why there wasn't foundation on the drop down, but I thought maybe she just missed it, so I just picked out some foundation. But I'm actually I'm here for that because I don't wear foundation that often either. But if I do, it's like a tinted moisturizer, so I'm down for this. And I really like this looks super super natural and just like better. Okay, go. The blur stick and beauty is this like a darker color. This one is number eight and I use this as contour so it might be a little darker. Okay. Okay I do have one of the nudies sticks but this one is in Bondi Bay which is a contour. It's got a brush one end and it is a contour but it's not number eight. So I'm just gonna go with it because I mean it's still a contour stick so okay so she goes a little bit up the top. And she goes underneath her nose. Which I do like, so that's cool. I don't think, I think I have used this once before, but I don't remember if I liked it or not, to be honest. So I'm excited to see. Okay, she's using her beauty blender. I don't really like tap it. Don't tap it, just rub it. Interesting, okay. Hey guys, welcome to the circus. I like a rabbit. Yeah, I look like a rabbit too, babe. Okay. Mm, this is nice. This is Nudie's all over face color, and this one is in in the nude. So it's a cream blush, and I just take it with this little blush brush. This is from Kylie's. I just like this. Okay, hold on. Okay, I don't have that color in the nude sticks, but I do have this Fenty um, blush stick. It's got a match stick, and this is in the shade Yacht Life. It's kind of like a glowy blushy bronze, uh, not bronze. It's like a glowy blush color. So I guess we're just gonna try this. She uses it with a brush. I'm gonna go with a small stippling brush. It's the Blank Canvas Cosmetics one, F45. So it she- It looks like a lot at first, but it honestly like blends into your skin when you put it on Okay, so she gets yeah, a like, brush. I like to put it like- I'm a bit scared of this. I've never actually like used this. Um, so I don't know if it's pigmented or not pigmented. So let's try. I do wanna try more Fenty Beauty though. I know you like tried one beauty more than you Okay, so. But now I like really like it. And I've been using more lately because it um, makes me look all sexy and shit. Oh, yeah, that's and nice. Every day when I'm not really doing much. And a normal, like, daily routine when I'm just. Got it between my legs, <laughs> between my knees, and I'm just using my brush. I feel like it's quite subtle, but I think that's good. And she also takes it over her nose for that more, like, sun kiss kind of look I guess. Oh it's really nice though. It's really glowy. As if we needed more glow. I wonder if she's got a powder. Mmm, skin's looking really nice. Okay. Right. I've got an ad. Okay, skip ad. On a normal this looks every nice. day when I'm not really doing much. And a normal like daily routine when I'm just running out doing errands or whatever, I'll just do this. That's as far as I'll go. This I'll is it. Your brows. Uh, no, I'm just like running errands and stuff. Okay, so, so she just leaves it like this. <laughs> I was like a tomato, but I started rubbing all over my toenails. Are we done? I, like, I really look like I have some time. It really it looks like There's so much left on the video, she can't be done. She just said that on every day this is how she needs it. Step, I'm taking okay. like Smack Skin Finish Medium Golden Mineralize. And I use this to just kind of like set my under eyes. Uh, okay, hold please. Okay, 
So she's using that to kind of set her whole face, but also her own eye. So I use this to set my whole face, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder, which is kind of more bronzy. And then I use this to go onto my eyes, which is the KKW Beauty Brine Powder number three. So I'm thinking I might just put a tiny bit of the undry powder under my eye, and then I'll go all over my face with the Charlotte Tilbury. So let's just take a tiny bit of this. This will actually help brighten my eyes a little bit, considering that concealer was a bit dark. You guys know how I feel about this powder anyway. I'm reluctant to go over the rest of my face because it looks so nice and glowy. But I'll just go over it lightly with this powder. So I usually just like turn it upside down before I open it. And then I open it. And then I use whatever's in the lid. And you really don't need much of this. But you can see it's like a more of a bronze shade. Because this is more like my tan shade. So if we swirl the brush around. I'm using a duo fiber brush as well so it's even lighter. But it is an illuminating powder as well. I really like this powder a lot. It smells rank, like it smells really bad. I don't know why it smells so bad, but it just does. But it's a really nice powder. Because it's kind of sets your face, but it looks glowy still. Like can you see that like, I've just powdered my whole face, but I'm still glowy. Like really glowy. I like that combo she did underneath. Okay. Right, let's see what happens now. Yeah, she says hers doesn't really have much of a colour, so I'm like a trans with someone. Is this soak up all the oil? Go in like dark golden, and I brought medium tan for you, so this is what we're using from the bathroom. Okay, so we go wrong as Okay. Let's go over wherever I added Okay, I don't have that shade of the MAC powder. I have got Give Me Some, which is obviously a bronzer, but I've really been liking this Rodeo Bronze Tour, which looks like this. So I might use this one because I feel like you guys know what Give Me Sun looks like, whereas this is fairly new. So I'm going to use this, not that brush. So she's just going over where she did the cream contour. <clears throat> also going with the same powder with like one of these brushes. It's called this is a Morphe MO. And I used to I thought it was Morphe. <laughs> <laughs> Morphe. Morphe. It's not like a little character. It's like this little yeah, character guy. Morph. Sorry, Morph. Can we morph into a lizard really quick? <laughs> oh, sorry, Alyssa's morphing into me. So I. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna. I'm just totally missed that joke. I that one coming from like a mile away. Oh, woo! If, what am I doing doing a makeup tutorial? I need to be a comedian. Give myself a little nose job. So now. Okay, okay yeah, I have that. Alright, so orgasm. Wow. Illuminating loose powder. And this right here. Do you have, have this? Some... Alright, watch this. Okay. Wow. So I'm just taking one of these brushes. Yeah. Over the front side. Alright, the highlight. The illuminating cream. Well, I feel like I'm going to be so glowy after this. Okay. Yeah, it gives you glow with your like Whoa. an undertone and this just adds to This one is also like the color of the blush, so. Like, do we see this? Like, it's it's unbelievable. And she's right, the more you rub it, I feel like the glowier it gets. Thing, what is it? I take a little bit of highlighter and then on the ball of my nose, I put it on there to like make it yeah, like, like, Whee! Whee! <laughs> yeah, I don't really like to do that, but okay. <laughs> Okay, she's using a Morph palette, <laughs> Morphe, and I think it's the Jack and one, I don't have that. It's getting black everywhere, but I'm gonna use this color. Yeah. What color is it? Brown. No. It's like a, like a clay color, um, and then I okay. mix it with this, like a little bit of purpley brown, and then um, we'll finish. Okay, right, so she uses a like, well, she calls it a clay color, but to me it just looks like a kind of warm brown and like a darker brown. So I'm gonna actually use the Blank Canvas Cosmetics Master Series Palette 1, it's this one, because I don't have the Jaclyn Hill one, so I'm gonna use this one, because I really love this palette. It looks like this inside. It's just like a neutral palette, but I'm gonna use the shade Forza, which is this one. It's her clay, clay color. And I'm gonna use probably Coco or Downtown, one of these two, as the darker shade, depending on how dark her looks when she does it, so let's watch. And I've got okay. like so, a little brush, like she says, this is a weaver one. Eyeshadow brush from Kylie, and... Alright, well, so I don't have a dual-sided eyebrow. I don't have a dual-sided eyebrow. Like, I have a dual-sided eyebrow. I don't 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 have a
then I'm gonna take the same color. She's starting on the lower lash line, which is interesting. Start right at the base oh, with a violet and carry it up a little bit. So she goes right in and then she goes up a little bit. Next, I'm gonna go in with the fluffier side. And I'm just gonna. Okay, and then she says she takes the same colors again and she goes on the upper and like extends this bit out which I'm totally down for this kind of look. I feel like mine's maybe looking a bit darker than hers. But, okay, so now she takes just the lighter colour. Oops, we need the blue. I've got a fluffy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that sounds like feeling from friends. Hi, I'll be right down. Okay, I'm here. Yes, I'll be right down, thanks. Okay, they've ordered food. Okay, so basically you just in the crease and a little bit over. This is just like a representation of my life. You gotta get it like on your lid as well. I'm trying. Now you should look like a drug dealer. Then I'll like, when it does blending this, I'll just kind of like flip up a little more of the fluffy side. And then, yeah, shut up. Throw some turkey on my face. So next step. Liking this, but I feel like this is kind of similar to what I would do, which was not the idea of this video. Apart from the skin, similar but not quite. But this is looking nice, way darker than hers. I feel like though. Okay. And I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Right, we move on to brows. Okay, so brows. So I don't actually have any of the Anastasia. Brow wears left. I'm using the rodeal one, which is pretty much the same. So I'm obviously just going to fill in my brows, like, to my shape. I actually usually use powder, so let's just try a pencil instead. This is actually a new Rodial pencil. It is the Microblade Effect. So far, it's actually really nice. I'd say it's similar to the, what was the, the Anastasia uh, Brow Definer, where it's more of like that kind of angle. Oh, I really like that. If you're wondering, I used the shade Ash Brown. And I did the same thing. Then I just brushed my brows up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, I just have a clear brow gel. I have this. Me too. I'm taking this Tatcha Luminous Duty. Wait! Wait! We're ready. God, I'm loving that brow product. Honestly. It looks like. I feel like on camera it looks quite harsh, but honestly, when I look up close, it looks really natural. Like, really natural. Okay. Okay, I've run out of my spray of that, so I'm just going to use the, the Morph. The Morph Continuous Setting Spray. The makeup set. I don't like doing it after the mascara because I feel like my mascara red. Me too. I'm going to switch to you. Oh, I just made my hair really wet. Um, I really do like that Tasha spray, so but I don't have any left. My lash curler. Next, I'm taking the Tardiest Tarte Mascara in black. Okay, then I don't have the Tarte one, so I'm going to just use my Charlotte Tilbury Legendary 2 because that is the one I use. <laughs> okay, so I'm wiping off the excess chapstick. And then we're going in with NYX. Liner in natural, which I have. I feel like it looks different to hers. I think it's just a different design. It's not like I'm using this. It's not the sharpened one. It's the twist up one. I'm not even this pale. It's just the lights right there. And then, do you have herpes? I put a little bit of this, which is the same blush that I used. Okay, she dabs some of the blush on it, but Final step, I'm taking this Grande Lips. This is Is an Ariana Grande? Hydrating Lip Plumper. I don't know which color this is, this is but it's like the pinkish. I know that there's a darker pink one and a clear one. Okay, I don't have that lip gloss. So I'm gonna use. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna oh, use this I one. Keep that, okay. This is the Rodial so, Collagen Boost Lip Lacquer. This is oh in the shade. God. I love it. This is in the shade um, Stripped. And you know I'm not a gloss kind of person usually, but recently I really like this I'll one. See the other side. Hi guys, so uh, wait, I want to show them my look. Okay, okay, 
so I put a little bit too much highlighter on, but it's still sliding lightly. So we'll get a little action on this highlight right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. Okay, I do really like it, but personally I'll put some oil, um, some oil, just add some more oil on me. I'll put some more powder here, because to me this just looks a little bit too greasy, but I'm loving the skin apart from that, like it looks really good, right? Okay, so this is her finished look. It's a thumbs up from me, I feel like it looks like my makeup, but I've used different techniques and different products. I um, really, really like the skin, really like the eyes, but I'm just going to try a bit of powder here just to see if it looks better. Oh, please. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of the Huda Beauty. This is the sugar, sugar cookie. Um, this one. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that. Um, like a really, really small amount on my beauty blender. And then she just like here more. And a little bit under the eyes. Yeah, that looks so much better, right? Okay, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I actually really love how this came out, but I would definitely use a lot of these products again. Um, anyway, let me know what you think of the makeup look, and leave me a comment if you do want to see the Kim Kardashian one next, or any other ones you've seen that you want me to follow. Even if you want me to follow like a really crazy one, like a James Charles tutorial, or a Jack and Hill one, I don't know, something more out of my comfort zone, then leave a comment down below. But that's everything for this video guys, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.